The International Agency on Cancer Research has been criticized in the last couple of years for not educating readers enough about the difference between hazard and risk. Now they're very different concepts. Hazard is the presence of a compound or chemical which may cause harm. Now risk is the probability that harm will be caused by a hazard. Now actually risk is a more important indicator of harm than is hazard. And this is where Proposition 65 comes in. They label the hazards, as does the IARC now, they don't actually mention risk. So if you look at the IARC's list of probable carcinogens, you'll find on there things like processed meat, red meat, tobacco, plutonium, or being a hairdresser, or even working night shifts, they're all in the same category. They're all listed as being group 2A, that is probable human carcinogens. But my question is, if I ingest one gram of plutonium, it's probably going to cause me some harm. If I stay up one night working late until 1 a.m., it's probably not going to cause me much harm. At what point does this hazard become a genuine risk that we should start worrying about? Well, they don't give us any numbers, and that's why they've been criticized that really what they should be allowing us to focus on is the presence of risk, not the presence of hazards.